must have shared one post to f uh, Facebook today. Is this 22 year old white boy? I don't know what area he's from. Probably outside of London, obviously, in it. But uh, 22 now. But when he was 19, he bought his first property and renovated it. And so the Sun newspaper threw up his thing, published his story in it, saying that basically the way he was able to buy a property at 19 and start renovating it was because he cut out partying, i.e. going to the clubs and that, and booze, i.e. no drinking. And let's just throw in drug use as well in, in, in that as well. In it. So, you know, like, you probably had about 3,000 people like the comment, um, uh, like the, the post, um, you know, put, give it a thumbs up on uh, Facebook. There were some other jackasses, uh, they put the, the, the laughing emoji face in it, you know, like, I don't see what's funny about that in it. You know? And then there was a the next set of idiots as well, uh, they put angry faces in it. You know? so. The people them that like it, that did the thumbs up, and it's probably some people them that put a love heart, whatever nonsense emoji on Facebook, they're the supporters of that thing. The people then who put the laughing emoji and the angry one, they're both the same. Yeah, if you put an angry face or a laughing emoji, you're both the same. The laughing emoji and angry face is the same thing. You're a fucking hater. Instead of a man, or oh, because there's be a gal in there as well, instead of a man or a gal looking and hearing a story about a 19-year-old that said, you know what, fuck going out to the clubs, fuck drinking alcohol, fuck doing drugs, let me save my money, let me invest my money in a property. Whilst I'm living at my mum's yard, my mum and my dad's yard, my parents' yard, let me save my money and invest in a property. You see the people them that get angry at that, they're the ones then. Who I can guarantee you don't have no property. They're the ones then who is straight haters. Straight up haters. How the fuck are you gonna hate some hate on a man who's 22, who's bought a property at 19, and the property is increased by 60 grand, the work that he done to it? So I think they said something along the lines of uh he put twenty thousand pounds into it. Uh yeah, cash to renovate the property in it. And it went up by 60 grand straight away in it. How can you hate on a man for that? How can that make you angry? If you see that post there and, you, and you're angry, that angers you, you're a straight up hater. Man, I'm a straight up hater. Guarantee you, most of the people them, 95% of the people them who hated that post or laughed at that post, straight up hater, they don't have no property themselves. Instead of thinking to themselves, you know what? Well, what I'm doing, Sir David, always in the building fam. instead of a man reading that post and thinking to himself ah oh, like how did a man do it you know and maybe trying to adopt that lifestyle or whatever in it yeah no i'm gonna laugh at it the, the laughing is worse because the the laughing emoji is even worse because at least the angry people are showing that they're angry the people that are laughing at it yeah they're trying to play it off or whatever in it they're, they're the, the re they're the worst haters the worst haters, at least the angry emojis and that, the people who are showing their feelings, their true colours. The people who are laughing at it, they're the ones, they're the real, the real haters. They're the nasty ones. Because they're trying to act like they ain't haters. How can you hate on a man for that? Dosa David, 19 or 20 years old. How old are you, fam? You're 20 years old, or you're still 19. Imagine you buying a property, 19, 20, and then you start renovating it and it goes up by 60 grand and you start telling... Uh, you start posting that up or the Sun newspaper throws that up or whatever in it and people start laughing and hating on it. What kind of nonsense is that? Yeah, he's a smart man. Smart man. So basically his plan is to retire... Uh, yeah, he's 22 now. He's on his third property. Oh, you're 21? Yeah, okay. So he's 22 now, he's on his third property and he plans to retire or have like a, no, no, I can't remember what they called it, but it's like almost like semi-retiring and it? It's, it, it put, the, he's basically trying to put himself in a position where he's like, boy, I work when I want, I work if I want, a bit like me, eh? like he's 
trying to put himself in, obviously we should all try and put ourselves in that position, but yeah, he's pretty much putting himself in that position where he's like, boy, I work, if I want, I work when I want. I'm not saying I'm fully in that category yet. Definitely not near retirement and almost at the point where I'm like, boy, I work if I want, when I want. I'm in a position where I can just stop working for six months. It's been done before. Man stopped working for 12 months straight. A man got fired in January 2020. I never done no work until January 2021. So this was during the, 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 the first initial lockdown. Didn't, my man didn't do no work at all. Nothing. Like, oh, obviously, some little idiot private jobs here and there, but they weren't covering my bills. If I had zero pounds on zero pence, them little idiot private jobs here and there that I was doing, yeah, that ain't sustaining nobody. So, like, when I made that video, if you look and remember, and I had the money on the table saying, yeah, you know, I made, like, £600 in two days. Yeah, that sounds good and that, but that was only over two days. Yeah. What about the rest of the month? The yeah, man's outgoings is way more than £600 or whatever. So, them little private jobs that man was doing, you know, they weren't sustaining me. But I put myself in a position where I didn't even have to work for 12 months and I bought a fucking property in that time. This is the power of sacrifice. This is the power of having that mindset that my you, that white boy had. Oh, you know what? I'm 19, but I'm not going to do what the typical 19-year-old did or does. I ain't going to be out partying all the time, every fucking weekend or whatever, in it, yeah? and I ain't going to be out wasting money. But going out is expensive, you know. I don't even know how much alcoholic drinks are in the club. I know they're expensive. Obviously, I don't drink. But I know they're expensive when they're fucking charging two, three, four, five pounds for a bottle of water. So how much is give me some figures, someone in it. How much a drink, a drink, like alcoholic drinks are in the fucking in the in the clubs and that. It's expensive. Even in Loughton, there used to be this place called Nuba. Man used to go out there years ago. And me, I'm a cheap ass. I didn't want to buy a Red Bull inside Nuba. So I left Nuba and went next door to an off-license, Turkish man off-license. You know the Turkish man in the off-license, two doors down from the Nuba, which is a club, the man was selling the Red Bulls for like four or five pounds. So basically at night time, the prices increase. Because I'm not, I think myself, this is madness. So not only is the club trying to rip man off, the shop next door is trying to rip man off as well. Imagine that, look. Twelve pound. Twelve pound for a cocktail. Bottle of wine, prosecco, thirty to forty pound. Madness. What's going on, Ali? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, well, sure. You can spend a grand if you want. Yeah, it's expensive, especially when you're doing it like. Actually, I don't know. If you do the rounds and that, if there's like six man or whatever in it, yeah, you, you could probably just get away with buying one round. I don't know how much that might cost you, maybe £60. It adds up. It adds up. It adds up. I ain't saying don't go out and enjoy yourself. For, for me, the club thing is not for me. I don't care about, like, you see, they're saying, oh, COVID passport, vaccine passport, you're not allowed in no clubs. You think a man like me cares? If they said to me, you will never be allowed in a club ever in your life again, I'd be like, boy, I don't really care, innit? Unfortunately, you know, I'm not allowed in a club ever again, but I won't really care or whatever, innit? Um, yeah, I'm not saying don't go out to clubs ever, but boy, if you want to get to a certain place, like, you have to make sacrifice. You have to be like my you. You have to be like my you. Yeah, I ain't, that's why I like hearing stories like this. I ain't the only person out here that's making sacrifice. There's other men on that, yeah? There's other men around on that energy. My bedroom as well, just like man. Even slightly schooled man as well. Same thing again, he was 19. He went to a uni up here actually in Northampton and he bought a property whilst he was 19, whilst he was a student. Now, a man's got four properties and he's the same age as man. 28. Yeah, I'm going to be 29 in six days. 
My man's an old fucking G out here, fam. Old G. Six days, a man. But yeah, anyway, boom. A man's 28 and he's got four properties. Three in this country and one in Sweden. And I think he even might be out there now. You see the man them that we went to school with and that, who, when they were 21 through to 25, probably still now at 28, turning 29, who were drinking and partying and running around chasing gal. The man is still in Edmonton, you know. The man they are still in Edmonton with no prospects of moving out and getting their own place. It's all right if you're still in Edmonton, still living at your mum's yard because you're saving. Don't have to be Edmonton, it could be Tottenham, it could be Wolverhampton, could be Stockwell, don't matter. It's all right if you're still at your mum's yard, but there needs to be a plan. Even if you're 35, there still needs to be a plan if you're, if you're at your mother's yard. You don't want to get to the age where you're like 40, 42. So a man of 50, I know family member, a man of 50 years old, still in their mother's yard. Or worse, at a girl's yard. So if living at your mom's house was, it's, it's, it's worse to live at a fucking girl's house. Under a girl's roof, yeah, than your own mother's yard, didn't it? But that, that's for our next video. You know, man spoke about that bare times, whatever. Really. So man's man's turning nineteen. Listen, save your money. Don't be like these idiots in the club every week chasing gal. Listen, gal will always be around. You know, gal will always be around. Girls ain't going nowhere. Like you're turning 37, about 27. Don't, don't try and take off 10 years of your age, man.